Okay. Here with uh, Esther Webb, first year head coach of uh, Ho In uh, Women's Soccer. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Ho In. Talk to a little bit about the transition from uh, being an alum and former player and now taking over the reins for a program you play for. Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. I feel really blessed to be here. It's been really cool to be. I think it's always cool to have the opportunity to coach at your alma mater. Um, it's been fun seeing professors and uh, colleagues that I went to college with as well. So it's just been a really cool time to be back on campus in this role. And you've had some head coaching experience and also some experience in the Empire 8. Um, talk about, has that made the transition a little bit easier into this role? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've kept up with the team over the years as an alum, but it was, I think, super beneficial. We played Houghton last year, so I was familiar with a lot of the returners and how they played the style of play. So being able to take that and implement some new um, tactical strategy and just to know where we're at and different things that we need to work on as well. And you were able to connect with the team a little bit in the mm -hmm. spring and how beneficial was that as you head into the, the, yeah. the fall training? Super beneficial. I mean, we're a young team this fall, so we have half incoming players and half returning players. So to have that time in the spring to just get to know them as people first and then soccer players um, has been really, I think, crucial to bringing our freshmen and newcomers along this preseason so far looking at the spring and what you've seen over the last week or so what are some uh, strengths what do you see as some positives for this team yeah i mean the team chemistry is great they love each other they are great teammates to one another um so i think that that's been really beneficial especially with so many newcomers bringing them in to a team that has strong chemistry already has helped to just make that even better um i think we see that transition to the field as well so we're getting to know each other quickly but because they're really intentional about that getting to know each other off the field as well. You can see them starting to click pretty quickly on the field too. What are those areas, uh, I won't call them weaknesses, but mm -hmm. just areas that they, you need to work on to get up to that level? Yeah, I mean, we're young, so that's a great thing. We have a lot of good energy, but we're also, half our team has never played at the collegiate level before. So just getting um, acclimated to the speed of play, I think is our biggest thing, but I'm super excited and know we'll get there um, soon. Who are some of those key players returning that will provide some of that leadership uh, among the upperclassmen? Yeah, um, Sarah Pataki, who was all-conference last year, she's uh, going to be a rising, or she's a senior, I guess now. Um, Megan Mer Merrifield, who was our goalkeeper. Um, we have Michaela Simons back, so she's coming back from an injury, so we're excited to have her back as well. And then we have some sophomores that have really stepped into some big leadership roles, Riley Studley, Natalie Milne, um, that are going to be really great for us as leaders and also um, good soccer players too. And you almost named every returner there because it's a, <laughs> it, as you said, it's a split. Yeah. You, you have a bunch of new new faces. Who mm -hmm. are some of those new faces and how large is this class coming in? Yeah, uh, well we have 12 freshmen and then we have a 13th who started with us in the spring. Um, so really 13 new players that haven't played at the collegiate level before. Um, it's hard to pick and choose, just a few. Um, we're excited. Morgan Applegate, again, she was with us in the spring, so I think we just know a little bit more what we're going to get from her there. But um, you'll see quite a few of the freshmen in some big roles. Like I said, we have half of them, so they have to step in pretty quickly and fill some big shoes. But I'm excited and confident they'll be able to do that. What are some of the, the goals this team has I mean, individually that mm -hmm. you want to see, but as a team collectively? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, make the conference tournament. I think that is something, a very tangible goal of theirs um, we've, that we've talked about. They've also talked about just being united together in the wins and losses and responding better to when we do fail and when we lose, how are we going to respond to that and become better from that. So that's maybe a little bit more of an intangible goal. Um, uh, and then, you know, there's some very specific soccer goals that we've talked about, just very technical, tactical things, but those are our two broadest goals, I guess you would say. What are some of those, those those strengths, those positives from a technical X's and O's types of thing that you've seen so far that this team's gonna be able to bring in the field? Yeah, um, we have some good speed, which I'm excited about. We have um, really good intentions to play quickly. Now that we, we just need to get to know each other a little bit better to be able to you know connect those passes, be on the same page for the runs we're making and the passes that we're making through to that. Um, but like I said, I think our biggest strength is gonna be our chemistry and their will to play 
for each other um, and to make each other better. We <laughs> have often said just in the short time that we've been together, like be more selfish with the ball, which is, you know, something that you'd rather be saying that than we need to pass the ball. We need to get rid of it. Like you're holding on to it too long. So they're a very unselfish group um, and they want to make each other better. So that's really encouraging as a coach. What are some of the key games on the schedule that you see? Yeah, I mean, our all of our conference games are going to be tough. Um, games that we will need to win that are going to be big for us. Um, Elmira, Cuca, Madai, those are going to be wins that we need to get. Um, I think it's going to come down to Utica, Hartwick, Sage, those are big battles. And, you know, Alfred and Naz are always going to be tough. And Fisher, those are who I think will be top of the conference. So those are going to be some tough matches as well. Okay. And what are the keys to get those victories? <laughs> Scoring goals. <laughs> uh, no, scoring goals, obviously, but we're pretty young defensively. Um, we didn't return any of our backline starters, so um, if we can stay organized defensively and stay tight together defensively, that's going to be really, really important. Good. Thanks, Coach. Good luck yeah. this season. Thank you.